Hello, I'm Roger Bisbee from the Skill Builder channel. I've got a little issue today because I've got to disconnect this pipe, which is an incoming main, and reroute it. And the trouble is, it's on the corner of the building and I've dug a little trench outside to try and find it and I can't find it. So I figured, okay, maybe it's not going that way out through the building. Maybe it's going this way out through the building. So I dug another little trench round here and it's quite hard going the ground because there's all kinds of rubbish there and I didn't find the pipe. So what I've done is I've gone and got hold of uh, the pipe and cable detection device which I'm going to use to try and locate that pipe it's not always possible obviously it's not possible if the pipe is plastic but in this case it's copper so what I'm going to do is connect this device up and then go around there and see if I can find the pipe and save myself a lot of digging so what we've got here is a transmitter this is all battery powered what we do is we hook up the red one to the pipe itself to the copper pipe so the black one is the earth. Now it helps if you can get that as far away from the transmission as possible because what it's trying to do is send a signal through and pick it up on the return circuit. The one thing you've got to be careful of is you don't get a transference. Sometimes if you've got an electricity cable and a pipe very close together it'll transfer the signal across so that's why we try and turn it down to the minimum. It's got three settings here. One is for power cables, one is for the radio signal, which is when we hook up to the pipe, and the other is for the generator, when we lay this unit down over the cable that we're trying to trace, so we know where the cable starts, say, by the house or something like that, and we're trying to trace it out to the road, so we can lay these arrows along the cable, and then we can use the generator detector and what that does is that sends a signal down into the ground, down into the cable and along the cable so that you can find it with this. So you've got different ways of finding it. Now, not only can you find cables, you can also find pipes. But to find the pipe, you would normally hook up the generator with the crocodile clips like I have, and then that would send the signal down the pipe. Now, when we turn this on, you can hear that sound there. What it'll do is it'll give us a signal there and we can turn the volume, we can turn the intensity of it up and down as it were. That will give us a signal and what we're looking for is silence. So when you hear that signal either side of the pipe or cable, you just keep sweeping it across sideways and as you do, it will go quiet. It will go quiet when it finds the exact point. So you can just mark it off on the ground, maybe use some of that water-based spray paint that washes off afterwards. Anything like that, just to give you an idea of where that cable or pipe is. So let's go and give it a go on something that I know has got an electric cable, one that is running under the garden. So if I lay the generator down over the cable, I know the position of the cable coming to the house is just there from the inside meter cupboard. We've got it switched on now. You can see the lid has the arrows in line, so we know we're roughly there. So we've got that generator going, so we'll just have a look now. Sweep it over here. Yeah, oh, that's where it goes quiet. So that is the line. Turn the intensity down slightly. That's turning it up. That's turning it down. There, I've turned the intensity down. Try and pinpoint it. And we've got it dead on there. So here we are. These are the trenches or the holes that I dug. One here, that was my second attempt. And the other one down here, which is where a bit of armoured cable is coming through as well. But I didn't have any joy down there. So then I went over to this side of the building and I had a go there. And I did, probably didn't dig deep enough there, but you know. I hate digging fruitlessly, so I've done so much of it in my life that I figure when you can use the technology to find a pipe, it's way better than digging for hours on end. So let's just have a go, see what happens. I've got a set to the right setting, which is the middle one. Press it on.
Right, so it's gone silent there. So that suggests that the pipe is there. If you look at that as being the inside wall, nine inches plus a bit, say, so the pipe is coming up about there, which would seem to tally very nicely with that. So I'll give that a little dig and see what I find. So there it is, exactly where the detector said it would be, shiny bit of copper. All I've got to do now is turn the water off, cut that pipe and make a connection to it. The only trouble is these things are never easy because I'm feeling that pipe and it feels like it's been flattened where they bent it through the foundations. They've kind of flattened the pipe slightly. So I'm gonna to have to get a re-rounding tool on there so I can get an olive over the pipe. I may even use one of those Filmac fittings that's got a nice squashy rubber connection on it and then that way it takes up a little bit of the unevenness of the pipe. But I see what I see what's what when I get the water turned off and get the pipe cut.